Hi, I'm Jerome Barkham, and as I share with you this video, uh, the first catch you will see would be my first NFL touchdown against the Houston Oilers in Houston uh, at the Astrodome. Uh, the guy ripped me across my forehead, catching my eye, and you see me sort of reaching for my eye to see if I was bleeding. This was the uh, catch against the uh, Monday Night Football game against Oakland Raiders. Uh, I was scrambling trying to get into the end zone, but the old veteran Willie Brown did not let that happen. Nice throw by Al Woodall, a very underrated quarterback. He often came in for Joe. Another nice throw by Bill Demery. Joe scanning the field, one, two, three, comes back to me on the weak side. Uh, fortunately, I was able to grab it with great protection by the offensive line. Here, John Riggins is uh, running the football. I am fortunate enough to get a block in for him. This is a game against the Green Bay Packers on the Monday Night Football game. And this uh, particular catch here, I was trying to turn on the afterburners and I forgot I had the ball and I ended up catching it a couple of times. <laughs> Another nice throw by Al Woodall. Again, a nice throw by Al Woodall with great line protection against the Denver Broncos. This is a great throw by Joe in the snow against the Buffalo Bills. Weave's last game as the head football coach in the NFL, and we, this is after the game, and we're trying to congratulate him as David Knight holds him really tight. Monday night football game against the uh, Miami Dolphins. Great throw by Joe. This is a last minute Hail Mary against the Buffalo Bills. I was fortunate enough to come up with this one. I generally give the ball to the officials after my catches. But the uh, fans that stayed there in this inclement weather came down on the field to congratulate me. And I said, why not throw the ball to one of the fans? They deserve it. Good throw by Joe. Great protection by the offensive line. This was in Wendy, Chicago. Joe was able to uh, manage a great throw in the wind. This was a back shoulder pass before it became popular. Joe was great at uh, being innovative uh, as a quarterback. This next play uh, was a post corner. Uh, the defender obviously hit the post pretty hard and uh, left me pretty wide open, but great protection by the line and a great throw by Joe. There's a tendency to overthrow a ball in a situation like this when you that open, but Joe knew how to read it. This was a push off, but not push off because my arms were going for the ball, so therefore it was hard to call that uh, interference. And again, here's another situation where I'm 
lunging my back into this defender, knocking him away from the ball, uh, allowing me to catch the ball. In another situation where I'm jumping high uh, to where the defenders can't strip this ball from me. We've affected this pretty good uh, the alley loop over the shoulder, over the head, pass. This ball, the guy couldn't pick up. I was fortunate enough to pick it up. And this was another steal. Another alley oop. It was away from the defender where he couldn't get it, but obviously where I could get it. We uh, had pretty good chemistry joined out with this particular pass. We could pretty much dial it up any time we got ready. This was after a hamstring injury, after a few weeks, and I'm coming back, and so Joe dialed up our old uh, standby pass, which was uh, the old alley oop down in the middle of the field here. Took a shot here, but a uh, great throw, and uh, obviously I had to concentrate on that football and great line protection. And this was a perfect pass, uh, one that we really practiced and it uh, showed in uh, the execution game. Another great pass by Todd. Richard was a pretty good pure passer. This was a fortunate situation where I caught a ball that was tipped. Great throws by Richard Todd. Here's a nice throw by Matt Robinson, who often came in for Todd. Another great throw by Matt Robinson against the Denver Broncos. This could have been pass interference. I don't know if it was called. The guy ripped across my head. Another one here for Mike Haynes hit me after I scored in the end zone, which obviously today would be called. Uh, I was fortunate to get a tip ball here. I have one theory, get the football, and this is my cradling the football and submerging it down to the ground, making sure that it will score. Great rollout throw by Richard Todd here. Routine touchdown, great throw. This was a tip ball, a, a, too tall for Tom Newton, but uh, fortunately I was in the right place to make this reception for a touchdown. This could have been pass interference, uh, but we struggled and forward from position here and I was able to come up with a catch. Great protection by the offensive line on the third and 15 to score. This was against the Dolphins. I, I sort of shook my head after this because I, didn't, I thought I didn't catch the ball clean enough here. Uh, and I like to catch it pretty clean. 
congratulated by Bobby Jones. This led to a 16-15 victory against the Miami Dolphins to put us into the playoffs. That was one, that was one of the drives, and this was a touchdown that uh, put us into the playoffs. And pandemonium, of course, my uh, teammates congratulated me. Great offensive line. Todd played with uh, broken ribs. Great throw. Fans happy. We're happy. What a joy.